located down in sunny Southwest Florida, and I am here today um, to talk to you about painting this hutch. Um, I'm going to be using the brand new Dixie Belle Silk Paint. I'm sure you've heard about it by now. Silk Paint is um, a game changer for some of you that maybe don't want to do all the already blending and different things that you can do with the chalk mineral paint. This one is simple. This silk is, it's amazing. Just stay tuned and I'm going to tell you all about it, how to do it, and how to get a great finish, etc, etc. Okay, so on my personal Facebook page, Pick and Boots Vintage, I created a poll. I sent a picture of this, I put it out there, and I asked everybody, what color would you like to see me paint this beautiful piece? We'll get it back in the kitchen. There we go. See this gorgeous hutch um, so there's 20 colors to choose from and I included this picture and a picture of the color chart and with over a hundred responses the color they chose was serenity so I'm going to use the silk in serenity today on this beautiful hutch before we get started though we need to talk about prepping your piece with silk it's different than if you use a chalk mineral paint, which is very important. Silk is different than the mineral paint that you're used to with the Dixie Belle. The silk is um, resin acrylic. It, uh, it doesn't mix well with water, so you don't want to use water with this. You want to start with a dry brush. Um, it has a built-in stain blocker. It has paint and a sealer, which is awesome because it's all in one you don't need to use an extra sealer can you uh, absolutely do you need to no <laughs> so um currently right now they only come in 16 ounces but i tell you what it goes a long way i did this let me just show you my display piece back here for the silk and i only used half of a jar so two coats Half a jar, it was amazing. I didn't have to seal it or anything. It was just done. Okay, let's get back to this piece. Um, the only reasons you may want to seal the silk, just, there's only two reasons. One, if you want to change the reflective shine that it has on the finish. Or two, um, um, what was the other one? Uh, if you want some extra protection, like maybe in the kitchen, but it's not needed, not recommended. It's already all in one in here. But for the silk to work the way it's intended, you need to do proper prep on your piece. There's no such thing as no prep. You have to always get your piece ready or your paint job might not be successful. It might scratch off and you don't want that to happen. So I've already prepped my front and the side. I'm gonna show you how to properly prep on the side that I left blank. And I did that just because I want to save time. I want to be able to get to this painting. But I also wanted to be able to show you how to properly get your piece ready. So what I did was, I well, technically I, I did kind of prep this. I already cleaned it with the white lightning. Dixie Belle has an awesome powder cleaner. It comes in an eight ounce container. Pick it up from any of your local retailers. And you wash your piece down. You want to get up all the grime and oils and maybe some pledge or whatever's on it. You want to clean your piece. Now, silk being a different beast than the chalk mineral paint, you also are going to need to give it a scuff sand. Yes, every piece you paint with silk, you should use a scuff sand. I'm using the Rad Packs. These things are phenomenal. Your Dixie Belle rep should carry these. If they don't, um, you can get look at one online and another Dixie Belle rep can help you with these, but these are awesome. They come in four different grits for four different reasons. The one I'm choosing is the 220. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly scuff sand this. When I say sand, I don't mean, you know, hard, get in there, get back to down to the bare wood. I just mean a light sand to create a surface for it to grip the paint, for the paint to grip to this. Skip this step and your paint might not adhere. So it takes literally minutes to do. It's not hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to lightly scuff sand. 
So you're just going to, and you can see the, it's lying. You can wear a mask if you want to. I probably should just in case, but. And you'll notice it's getting a little bit lighter. See this? You're just simply giving it a nice light stuff sand just so your paint will grip to the surface. Now, if, um, if you are painting something that is glass, very shiny like laminate, don't scuff sand it. Simply put slick stick on it. You do need slick stick when you're doing glass, laminate, or any shiny surface. All other surfaces, give it a light scuff sand. So after you give it a light scuff sand, I have a damp rag here. I'm just going to simply wipe off. Now there's different ways you can do this. You can do the white lightning, rinse it to get the residue off, scuff sand it, and then rinse again. Me, because I like to work smarter, not harder. I'll wash it with the white lightning, let it dry, scuff sand it, and then take my white rag and rinse everything off at the same time. Okay, so now this piece is prepped and ready to go as soon as it's dry. That is why I already have this side ready. So I already scuff sanded, white lightning, and rinsed. I went ahead and taped around the glass. Do you have to? No. You can either <clears throat> use some painter's tape to catch your drips when you're painting, or you can just simply razor blade it off after you're done. I had a little bit extra time this morning, so I went ahead and did that. Normally, I, though, I just, just razor blade it off the edge. Or you can even catch it when it's wet. Take a rag and just... All right, so... Let's get started. Serenity. This will take two coats. There is about an hour dry time in between each coat. Woo! And it just goes on so super smooth. Well, you guys, those of you who voted, this color is beautiful. I haven't used this one yet. I've used about five of the colors so far because it's so new. I haven't had a chance to get all these colors yet. Wow. I am just loving this color. Today, I'm using my oval medium. I like the oval medium because, see this surface right here? It's raised. And what it does is it gets in all the corners. Look how fast that is with the oval medium. It just works. It just it works so much better. So oval medium for raised surfaces, it just gets in all the detail. It's so easy. See how fast that is? I guess I should have probably taped off my handles. There's little teeny holes here. I'll just make sure I wipe it off. Okay, so I know silk is fairly new and there are retailers that are still getting it on their shelves, but how many of you have actually used the silk yet? Have you used it? used it tell me what color you used I would love to hear um, I know Dixie Bell would love to hear too and I'm sure that they would even like it if you would maybe even post a picture in the comments of what you've painted I know I would I love seeing what everybody else creates and especially when something's new it's a great way to get ideas And it's also a great way to get some compliments on the hard work that you've done. All right. By the way, this chair is awesome. When you start to get a little bit older and can't really be on the knees, <laughs> these chairs are phenomenal. They, I, 
Lower it just a little bit. It's hydraulic, so it goes up and down. Harbor Freight, Amazon, wherever. Dixie Bell should probably sell them. I'm sure they would do very well at selling these chairs. <laughs> okay. I love it. Now, last time I was on here uh, a week ago, and I painted a dresser in Cape Current, and I had somebody comment, aren't you worried about brush strokes? You're going so fast. <laughs> well, um, this is self-leveling, so no, I'm not worried about the brush strokes because it just, it actually dried perfectly, it looks fantastic, and there are, you can't see the brush strokes. Now there is one thing that you do need to watch out for when you're using silk, or basically any paint. Drips, because drips, drips are not good. So if you are painting, when you get done, survey your whole piece. Go back and look and see if you have any drips. It's way easier to address the drips when it's still wet because you simply just go back and use your finger and rub it in. And it makes it go away. Now, a tip, if you have a drip after it's dried, use a razor blade and scratch it off don't try to sand it off because you'll end up sanding all around the drip. Trust me, I learned from my bad experiences. Use a razor blade, of course, carefully though. Okay, so I'm gonna zip to the other side. Now, a jar of the paint, which comes in 16 ounces, whoops, I'm off the camera, let's, let's do this. So a jar of the paint, um, is comes in 16 ounces it'll cover 72 square feet so it covers really really good a lot of area see how great this oval medium brush just helps with all the detail because it's a wider brush it just Gets in the crevices, gets in the moldings, gets in the detail. You just need to go back and make sure, like I was just talking about, that there's no drips. Okay, some other talking points about the silk. It's great for kitchen cabinets and bathroom cabinets. It's also great for outside. And the reason for that is it's water resistant, grease resistant and mildew resistant, which is huge. So, what do you think so far of the Serenity? Isn't it beautiful? This would not have been my first choice of color. I'm not exactly sure why not, because it is a really pretty color, but I'm glad those that were on my personal Facebook page chose it because it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going back to check for drips before I move on to the top. If you have a friend that you know that's been wanting to try the silk, tag them in this post or share it with them because show them how easy and versatile and durable the silk can be. Just double checking for drips. All right, I did pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna do the top part. All right, here we go. Try to back it up a little bit. I can't see your questions. However, there is a Dixie Bell rep online that will should be answering questions for you. I always, after the video, will go back and answer your questions. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in there and we will get them answered. All right, so I know some of you are just popping on. You may not have jumped on the video when it first 
started. So I just want to tell you that I'm using the Silk Paint by Dixie Belle, the Silk All-in-One, built-in stain blocker, the paint, and a sealer. So you just prep your piece and paint, and it's done. Again, I'm using my oval medium, which is really good when you're painting a big piece and has a lot of detail because it gets into it. I generally use my flat mini on a lot of pieces, but for stuff like this, I love, love my oval medium. And all your Dixie Bell wraps have them. There is a link in this ad or this the video that'll that you can search for your local retailer. They will be happy to help you. Looking beautiful. Okay, some other questions that you may have if you're just popping on is no, you do not need to seal this. It comes with a built-in sealer. Can you seal it? Absolutely, but there's no need to. It dries to a low reflective finish and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you're painting your kitchen and you do a lot of cooking or maybe you have children that are very active, you might want to consider Gator Hide. Not necessary. <coughs> What do you think of this lattice, the metal that's in here? Adds some cool dimension to this piece, doesn't it? Sometimes when you have a piece of furniture that has so much detail going on, like for instance, this piece has this metal lattice, and then down here it has all this uh, wood detail. Sometimes just a simple coat of, clear, of just one color paint is perfect for the piece. This probably would not be a good piece to use the other Dixie Belle paints, the chalk mineral paints, to get a blend on. You probably, because there's so much detail going on here, it's going to look perfect with just the one color. Now, there we are. Oops, I do have a drip. Because it's still pretty wet, I can use my brush. If it was more on the dry side, I would definitely just use my finger. All right, so here is the paint and touch. It took me not that long to paint. Probably it takes a few minutes. You saw how I scuffed sanded this side and washed with white lining. Doesn't take that long to give proper prep and get it painted. This will take about an hour to dry, and then I'll put my other coat on. It will take a little bit longer to dry if you're in high humidity area. Um, I have one other side to paint real quick. Remember, if you have any questions, pop them in. We'll love to answer them for you. I'm gonna bring this a little closer. How's that? Whoa, <laughs> that's really close. So you can see, so I'm using my oval medium just a fair amount of paint, not too much, not too light. And it just goes on super easy. Look at that. This is another reason why after you get done scuff sanding, you want to take a wet rag and just kind of get, get that off because you don't want those little teeny, no matter how small they are from sanding, you don't want them mixed in with your paint. Remember, this is just coat one. Might not be 100% full coverage, but it's pretty close. It looks great. Another question you all might have is, can I sand it or distress it? Absolutely. Do you have to? No. Remember, it's your piece. You do with it what you want. have to 
say that I am very impressed with this paint. It's got great coverage. Silky smooth. Well, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's why they call it silk. <laughs> Today I just have my furniture on, normally you guys ask me because I have it on the, the hydraulic lift. Today I just have it on some wheels, which re makes it really easy to move around when you're painting. All right, let me get the top. And I'm going to then check for drips because you want to make sure you dress the drips while it's still wet. I'm going to put this down. Let's move this back. Loving this color. Thank you, my followers on Pick and Boots, um, for voting. This is a great color. What I'm going to do is right now it's brown in the black, in the back, excuse me, and it's kind of um, not the look that I'm going for. If you follow me on my page, you'll see what I'm going to do at the back. What's really neat about this, or on my, like most touches, if you want to paint it, add fabric to the back, any kind of papers. There's generally little nails or little staples. You just take a screwdriver and you pop, pop it off. That way you can lay it flat and get a great coverage, a great finish on that, and then you can put it back in. And while that is off, that's a great time to paint the shelves or any part of the inside that you need to get to. Because this has a limited opening, the doors don't open, but if you pop the back off, you can get, have great access to the whole piece. All right, so recapping on the silk. So, let me, you need to make sure you clean your piece, use a white lightning, scuff sand it, use a 220, then rinse it, just take a damp rag and get all the extra residue of the white lightning off and the residue from the sanding, the scuff sanding. Let that dry, then start painting. Hardest part will be picking the silk color. Currently it comes in 20 colors and um, I haven't found a bad color yet. This is the fifth color that I've used and this is beautiful. I don't know if it translates well to the camera because sometimes video will change the color a little bit. Okay so after you prep it put your first coat on let it dry and one to two hours should be plenty. Put your second coat on let it dry. You have a beautiful new piece. It does take 21 to 30 days to cure, and then it will be a durable finish that you can wash and brag to all of your friends. And they'll ask you to start painting for them. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you for joining me on the Dixie Bell page today. Again, my name is Shannon Stefanacci, and I am at Pick and Boot Vintage down in sunny Southwest Florida. And if you have any questions, drop them here. If you've used silk and you love it, Tell us what you love about it, or really drop a picture. I would love to see, or drop them on my page. I would love to see what you're doing with the silk. All right, guys, have a fabulous day. See you probably um, February. <laughs>